Let's play. Quiet, quiet, quiet. Hi everybody, this is Brian here from Let's Play Quietly, and I'm continuing my playthrough of Mass Effect. The last time we left off, Shepard had just been granted Spectre status. So now, we are supposed to go and track down Saren. So, we've met with the council. I'm just trying to figure out what my next task is here. And I think we can go to the Normandy now. Oh, that's my completed quest. Let's go to assignments. Go to Shiara at the consort's chambers. Okay, let's wrap up some quests here. So first we'll go and wrap up that quest and then we'll get out of here. And I think this is where I can pick up the task of uh, monitoring these little buggy things over here. The keepers, that's what they're called. I've got no interest in the keepers. I like Garrus because he gets right to the point. And I think this is where we can get the mission where we can basically um, tag these things everywhere we go because they're collecting data. This guy's getting readings off of all the keepers. And they're all over the citadel, so as he's telling people, you're not supposed to disturb them. Luckily for Shepard, she doesn't have to worry about the law. So, because she is the law. So basically, this is another reason for you to go around and explore the Citadel. So now every time that we see one of these things, we have to... Uh, attach a scanner to it and this guy's going to keep data on it and this will come back later in the storyline I don't know how much information he gives us right now oh he's just trying to learn whatever he can about the creepers or the creepers the uh, keepers so we picked up another quest and another reason to spend more time on the citadel but we have a couple of quests to wrap up before we hit the Normandy, so. Uh, I'm not going to deal with that guy yet. Where's my travel thing? I think this is it over here. Yeah, that's what I want. Citadel Rapid Transit. We're going to go to the Presidium locations, the Consort Chambers. Because we already talked to Septimus, I think it was. So now we can go collect our experience. And I haven't looked at my skills or uh, equipment lately, so it's probably a good time to do that soon. Apparently he sought the consort's forgiveness. Oh, good. Okay. We can go speak to her. No, that's not her. We're going to go here. And I'm pretty sure, yep, this is where we want to be. And we can collect our reward. Because we have diplomatically completed this quest. Glad to help. I would not expect you to help me out of kindness of your heart. Well, Shepard is a do-gooder, so I have one more thing to give you if you're interested. Sure. An affirmation of who you are and who you will become. Just giving Shepard a little pep talk. telling her to stay the course. 
because your legacy is that you're a lone survivor. So this is one of the places where it actually calls back to your um, whatever origin you picked. So Shepard's thankful for the words of wisdom. And we have completed that quest, so even though we're not getting more than words as payment, we will get some experience, that's for sure. Oh wait, I'd like to have a small trinket. We did get something, what is it? I don't know what it is, we'll have to figure it out. Now she's kicking us out. So, Paragon plus two, 154 XP. So before we head out of here real quick, let's just take a look at our equipment now for Shepard. Toxic Seal, Stimulant Pack, Radioactive Rounds. Sure, we'll take all those. Um, okay. Assault Rifle, I have a better Assault Rifle. I have the right shotgun. I haven't picked up any pistols, which is a bummer because I'm good with pistols. Sniper rifle. I really need one with a better accuracy rating. And none of them really have it. Let's see if I can upgrade this. Oh, I do have. I can do radioactive rounds, phasmic rounds, chemical rounds. Instead of projectiles, upgraded weapons release charged particle bolts. All right, let's do that. Uh, what else do we have? I still have the same Omni tool. Oh, I definitely have better armor, though. Heavy armor, human. Um, I think... Oh, you know what? I can't equip that. All right. Let's see. Garrus, I can give him better armor. Can't I? No, I can't. I can give him... I think he has all the best stuff. I can give him a better sniper rifle. Um, but he can't use that armor in tally. I can give her... I guess a better sniper rifle? No, nope. hers is more accurate. Okay. So on the equipment front, I really don't have too much to give her, but I can upgrade myself here. So we're going to upgrade pistols again. Sniper rifles. Increases damage done. Okay, good. Armor. I'm still trying to max out. I just maxed out charm. So, oh, actually, you know what? Let's do one inspector training, one in intimidate, one in charm. Let's do two in sniper rifles, one in pistols, and one in infiltrator. And that should be good. Uh, one more we have, uh, one in intimidate. Okay, now let's go to Garrus. I'm going to have him use assault rifles because I use sniper rifles, so we'll go straight through. Oh, actually, we don't, we don't need sniper rifles with him. Uh, we'll go tactical armor. We'll go first aid, and we'll go Turian agent. It's good. Tally is going to be our electronics expert. Uh... And increases explosion radius. Decryption increases the amount of Omni Gel. We'll do basic armor. And we'll do pistols with her. And she is a Quarian machinist, so good. Okay. Alright. So now that we've done that, I think we're going to head back to the Normandy. And get the heck out of here. Unless there's any more quests that we have to do right now, which I don't think there is. Um, let's just take a look-see real quick. 
Let's go over to our journal. Unusual readings, yep, we have that. Unusual readings, while in the Citadel you uncovered an Alliance Patrol report, one of the patrols mentioned some strange activity in the Hydra system of the Argos Row Cluster. Okay, that's going to be our thing. Argos Row Cluster. So we're going to jump on... I forgot how we get to the Normandy. Um... How the heck do we get back to the Normandy? Let's go back over here and see if we can find out. I think if we go back to C-Sec and the embassies, we will be able to get the heck out of here. Um, but I'm not positive. How do I get back to my Normandy? I'm in the Citadel. Welcome to the Presidium Terminal. I don't think I want to talk to her right now. Let's log off. Yeah, goodbye. Let's go. I'm just going to explore around a bit because I forgot some of the places we can go in here, so. But, uh, oh, there's a keeper. So I can tag him, and I think it tells me how much my progress is on each one. Scan. Okay, so we got one. All right, we need to get out of here. And we need to get back on the Normandy. Or did I not do that part yet? No, we have to be able to fast travel to it. Wards. Med clinic, C-Sec, back. Is it C-Sec that we want to go to? I forget. Actually, I think it's here, right? Docking bay. There we go. So here we are. It's me, Garrus, Tally. We're getting on the Normandy, and we're going to go check out the Argus Cluster. One of their survey teams has gone missing in the Hades Gamma Cluster, so this is another place that we can hear about other missions that we might be able to pick up, um, or that we might see on our galactic map when we get back to the Normandy. But I think we're going to stick to this story mission now and go check out that place that we just received intel about in the Argos Cluster. And then we'll go from there. That'll probably be good for this episode, so. Let's see which way we get out here. There we go. Anderson's going to want to talk to me again, I'm sure. Oh, Ambassador Udina. He's always got something to say. I've got big news for you. Captain Anderson is stepping down. Oh, I forgot about that. Shepard's not a fan. And she's going to make that opinion known right now. The Normandy belongs to you, she says. Spectre can't answer to anyone but the Council. All right, we're not going to get too far down that rabbit hole right now. We know what he's after, the conduit. He's got his geth scouring the traverse looking for clues. Okay, so now that we're a specter and now that we're in charge of the Normandy, it's our job to get out there and try to uh, stop his evil plot. And you're seeing a lot of different possible quests that we could do now. What about the Reapers, Shepard is asking. 
they're still not convinced that they exist. So this is kind of a theme, obviously. Shepard has to constantly provide proof to get even the people that are supposed to be on her side to believe her that there's a larger threat out there. Stop Saren from getting the conduit, and we stop the Reapers from returning. Okay, well, that's the mission right now. So we're on it. Matriarch Benezia, who's working with Saren, she has a daughter, a scientist, who specializes in the Protheans. So that's another person that we can go and track down. Her name's Liara, and if you've played Mass Effect before, then you know that uh, she's going to become the next member of our party and a major, major character in this game. We'll talk more about her when we actually meet her, but we're going to start with Pharos. You're a specter now, you don't answer to us. So this is another theme in the game that you're you're making big choices between what uh, what's the mission that you want to do right now, you know, as opposed to something that you can maybe come back and do later. You know, what are your priorities going to be? as you're trying to uh, stop Saren, and they do a good job of making you feel like you uh, you really have to weigh the cost and benefit of a particular mission, because you're not going to have time to do everything. We're still early enough right now, though, that uh, we're going to kind of stick to some of the main story, and... Uh, and then we'll pick up more side quests as we go along, so. And again, this decam decontamination stuff and the, and the elevator stuff is just a way to mask the loading times, but usually even when they're doing that, they're, they're throwing some information at you, which is good. Yeah, so Joker is basically saying that, uh, you know, because of the politics that are always going on behind the scenes, he wants to make sure that Shepard watches her back. Uh, let's see. I need to be honest with them. Yeah. Shepard's not one for lying to the crew. Find Saren before he finds the conduit. She's addressing the crew now. I won't lie to you, this mission isn't going to be easy. Uh, and so you get to shape her speech. And so she's kind of telling them... You could choose to sort of keep everything from them. But... Uh, Shepard's a pretty straight shooter, so we will be there while hunt him to the very ends of the galaxy. And uh, I try to end on a hopeful note. This is a big deal for humanity because basically stopping this guy will cement humanity's uh, standing in the intergalactic community, so it will, uh, people will, will sort of uh, see us in a different light. And basically for Shepard, or at least the way that I play her, she is trying to live up to the legacy that Anderson has already established. So, And all of that stuff pretty much fits along the Paragon um, line, which is the, the sort of light side of the Force, if you will. So we're going to go to Argos, and we're going to uh, jump into this first mission here. We'll open up the galaxy map, and this is really when the game starts to really open up. Um, yeah, we're going to zoom out. And we're going to zoom out again. And we're going to zoom out again. Uh, and we want to go to Theros. Over here. Uh, and we're going to travel... Oh, wait. No, we're going to go here travel to another system, yes. So we've just went into the galaxy map and we've chosen Pharos to go to where we believe the colonists are, so now you get a cutscene of the Normandy leaving the Citadel, and again, even now, all these years later, it's still an impressive sight when you look out over the Citadel and how many millions and millions of beings are out there, and then you travel through the mass relay, and then you head out to another star system, and when you think about even the way that they chose to, uh, you know, handle load times and things like that. Like, everything they do is in service of making the game feel epic. And I think they did a really elegant job of most of this stuff. So, you know, people complain about some of the controls, like with the Mako and stuff like that. But 
Mass Effect 1 is still my favorite game in the series because to me it still feels the biggest of all of those. So we are now landing. I think I think it's Exogeny is the place that we're landing and trying to find out what's going on. So I'm going to get a chance to pick my crew again and I think I'm going to roll with uh, with Garrus and with uh, Tally as we head out and we're going to get right to it and jump right into this mission so exit the Normandy and we're going to take uh, Garrus and we're going to take Tally and that's going to be our crew for now we'll definitely grab Ashley for some missions as well and Rex too but this is who I'm rolling with for now, and when, when uh, Liara comes along, she'll be coming out on plenty of missions as well. So we're headed out, and I'm pretty sure that things are going to get bad pretty quickly. But let's go talk to this dude and see what's going on. We saw your ship. Fi Dan wants to speak to you. I'm like, who the heck is this dude? It's Fi Dan. He's our leader. He needs your help to prepare for the get. They're making another push. So these guys have already been dealing with the Geth. And we're going to go find out, oh, really quickly how, uh, how we can help uh, take these guys out as quickly as possible. I always forget that my guns overheat, so I tend to uh, not handle that as well as I could, but... And the cover system doesn't always work spectacularly, but, uh, but it's okay for now. Oh, man. Yep, that's like a rocket launcher thing, so we do not want to get in the way of that. So, come on now. Oh, it's like a sniper rifle thing. How the heck do we get out of here? Oh, we gotta go this way. Okay. Oh yeah, these guys are like, uh... Almost like ninjas. And they hang on the walls. Stalkers, get stalkers. Darn it. Good thing I have teammates that are a better shot than I am. Okay. Let's see if there's any more lingering around. No, no. Okay, we're going to go down this way. Alright, it looks like we made it. The Geth are bloody dangerous. Yep, we know that. Oh, they just were shooting at us. Glad to see some soldiers. Our numbers are getting thin. If we don't die of thir thirst, the Geth will surely kill us. And uh, how's a woman supposed to think with guns going off all around? So, lots of people struggling around here. The Geth are mounting another attack. Uh, we're trying to find the boss here. Fay Dan, I think his name was. Oh, maybe I'm all done. If I use my map a little bit more... Uh, a little bit better. This guy. This is who we're supposed to talk to. God, they finally sent somebody to help us. Look at this one complaining about us. Sorry, Commander. Everybody's on edge. Here we go. We got more coming in. Okay, okay. Let me have some cover there, for crying out loud. Alright, one down. Let's go 
here. Take that dude out. Come on now. There we go. Whoa, there's a lot more. There's still more coming. Garrus is down already, man. Come on now. There. Where are these guys? Am I going to blow myself up if I go by that? Apparently I will. Dude, you're gonna get us killed. That didn't do anything? Come on now. Oh my goodness. That was a bad plan from the get-go. Hopefully it'll just start me out where I was talking to Fidan. Yes, resume. The problem with this place is it's not really a good setup for sniper rifles. So it's pretty much just me using my pistol. Oh, you know what? Maybe I could. Whoa, whoa, don't get yourself killed. messing around there. That's what I wanted to do. Uh, let's check out that sniper rifle. Easy. You guys are good. Tally's not messing around. There we go. I think we have to go up. Probably gonna get ugly. You guys go there. Okay, probably time to switch back to my pistol. Come on. Oh, there's a lot of them. Okay. Whoa, whoa, where am I getting shot from? go again one more time and we were doing so well okay okay one down
You guys go down there and storm the castle. Alright, let's try that again. We can't even use my medi gel yet. There we go. There's one more around the corner. Alright. Let's be a little bit more careful about this now. You guys camp out there. cover a little bit better this time around. There we go. Hopefully these two will be back up. Oh, I got one more. is not cool. Oh my gosh. Darn it. Alright, we're going to try this one last time. I'm starting to think that I should have taken, taken assault rifle as opposed to uh, sniper rifle training. You guys are actually supposed to use cover.
this is the part where we always get stuck. So we're actually going to save right here. Fifth time's the charm, let's hope. Finally, make a decent shot. I don't want them to go too far because I know these guys are just going to end up ambushing us. And I hate that my field of vision bounces around so much right there. getting sniped at from above. You guys get back here. Man. How am I getting trapped here? That is super duper frustrating. Oh, you know what? We're going to load that battle right back up. Hopefully it'll resume from where I had it before. Yep, yeah, there it is. Good. I'm going to have to stick with my pistol for crying out loud. It's the ambush that we got to watch out for. Whoa. Get back here. How the heck do we get out of here? Oh, we don't because it locked behind us. Okay. There's a very big bad guy coming our way. down. Tally, get behind there. Actually, get over here. Now. 
Oh, thank goodness. Did we actually stop that guy after the fifth time? Unbelievable. Please tell me there's not another one. Oh, that's just a regular Geth Trooper. Okay. Finally! Holy moly, that took a lot longer than we thought it would. See, that's a good example of not having balance on the team. I didn't really think that through before. I Like, I should have brought Rex for heavy artillery. And, uh... That battle would have went a lot better. What's this? Chemical rounds, phasic rounds, that's great. Begin manual override. Nice. What did we get? Ooh, we got quarian armor and human armor. That is awesome. So I think that we can now go back to those dudes and tell them that we fought off the Geth successfully. Although I don't know if you'd call five times in a row dying successful, so... But it's all part of coming back to this game after a long time away. Oh, I don't think I want to go down there. Do I? Okay. Let's go back this way. Down the stairs. And talk to our friends that we left behind. Oh, and they're just hanging out like nothing even happened. Yeah, happy to help, buddy. I think that's actually going to wrap up this episode of uh, my Mass Effect playthrough because that mission took a lot longer than I thought it was going to. But we did successfully fight off the Geth, so we'll pick it up here next time. If you like watching me die thousands of times in Mass Effect, then please click a like and subscribe to our YouTube page. And I'll be back again soon with more Mass Effect.